Hey everyone, it's me Chris from Body Nova Fitness Coaching and today we're going to talk about um, it's a program that was that as far as I know of was created by Dr. Eric Serrano. You should look him up. That guy is brilliant with nutrition and um, the use of supplements to uh, help you improve performance or um, gain muscle, lose body fat, all those uh, all those things there. As I say this, okay, I'm in Vegas, it's Thanksgiving weekend. All right, I'm in or, or the week of Thanksgiving. I'm in Vegas. Now it's time for me to do my chest workout, and the gym only has a limited amount of weights. They got dumbbells to 70 pounds. Okay, if you've seen any of mine, I'm hitting 70, 75, 80 at least 20, 15, 20 times. So if I'm going to do bench press or incline bench press, that's not not enough weight. On top of that. I've had a lot of issues with my elbows and tendonitis, okay, lately because now I get to lift heavier, but as I got to lift heavier, I started getting reckless again, you know, um, and I have to really, really stay in balance. I failed to do that, so I have to come up with a solution. So for today, my solution is this program made by Eric Serrano or this concept, it's more the concept, I wrote the program based off of his concept. It's called um, ischemic, uh, is ischemic uh, training, or ischemic, ischemic I-S-C-H-E-M-I-C, -E train, okay? Um, basically, it's his own version of blood flow restriction, okay? Because the way that most people are doing blood flow restriction is they have the little bands or whatever they're tying around their, their arms and they're tying around their legs, okay? and the blood flow gets cut off to those limbs so they're working out without oxygen okay and while they're working out while those muscles are being worked without the oxygen they fail much faster so your body to complete the task has to recruit more muscle and more muscle and more muscle fibers that uh, died off or isn't canceled out of the equation due to a lack of oxygen okay but the problem with using the bands and stuff is you can only train your arms and legs because what are you going to do? You're going to try to tie a tourniquet around your chest or around, you know, to, to work your chest, you know, you're going to tie a tourniquet around your waist so you don't get blood flow to your glutes if you're trying to work your glutes. You see what I'm saying? How about your back muscles? Okay, so Serrano had this concept because it's based on some uh, physiology. I had a, um, at the time I learned about it. I was taking a, in my PhD program, I was taking a class on um, cardiovascular exercise science, okay? And in the, in the, the book, the textbook, they were explaining how this works. They weren't referring to this directly, but they were referring to how if you have a muscle contraction, if you're contracting your muscles, blood flow is shut off to the muscle, okay? Just like it would be if you try to apply the tourniquet with the blood flow restriction bands, okay? So with a muscular contraction, you're cutting off blood flow to the muscles until you fully release the muscle. So based on how Serrano's instructions is, you're using doing an isometric contraction, which is just basically if I hold the weight and stand still. So as you're watching me do this bench press, that's why one hand's gonna be doing this and the other hand's gonna be lifting and then I'm gonna change hands, okay? As you're holding that isometric contraction, no blood flow can get to that muscle, all right? So you're creating the same situation that you're trying to create by applying, applying using the BFR bands and trying to apply, uh, tie the tourniquets around the muscles, but you can do this anywhere. You can, work, you can work out your upper back muscles. You can work out your glute muscles. You know, you can work out your shoulders in this same fashion. By doing this, you're going to be able to use much less weight. So for me being able to do this using much less weight, I can save wear and tear on my joints. And I can, or, and I can perform this in this situation where this hotel gym, even though this hotel gym is pretty fucking awesome, I can perform this in this hotel gym using much less weight as you see here i'm using 40s and 45s 40s 45s 50 pound dumbbells and i'm dying okay so um 
if you choose to do this, this is that you have to do this concept right. And there's a couple conditions you're going to need to satisfy. Okay, one thing you have to realize is this concept can be used for every muscle and a lot of different exercises, but you're not going to be able to execute it in the same manner. Okay, so um, as I did this for chest, that might be different than I would do it for legs or um, upper back or shoulders. Okay, um, as I say that, Okay, one condition, okay, you want to extend time under tension. So as I say that, you don't want to be lifting really, really fast, okay? Um, you want to be lifting slow because as you stretch out time under tension, remember those muscles go longer without oxygen, okay? So if those muscles go longer without oxygen, they die off, okay? Oversimplicity, I'm oversimplifying that. They die off. Or they exit the equation and you, and you have to recruit more muscle to uh, get the job done. Two of the ways uh, to extend uh, time and attention, either you're going to have to do more reps or you're going to have to do them slower, which I chose to do them slower in this case. So as I did this for chest, I hit, I, I, I start, let's say I started with the left being held and I did the reps with the right, okay? in the middle of the, of the range of motion, not at the end, because you don't really have a squeeze on the muscle to cut off the blood flow. So you want need to lower that a little bit and be disciplined and deal with the, with the burn and the pain and hold that right there. So I'm pushing with the right, okay, holding with the left. I perform slower reps, probably two or three seconds up, two or three seconds down, maybe even a pause down at the bottom. Okay, high quality reps, then I, I don't, do all the reps with my right. Like I choose a weight that I can do 15 to 20 times uh, or more, maybe even 25, 20 to 25 times, okay? And then I hold the left, I hold the right, and then I do the same with the left. So in this case, I go eight reps with the left to match the eight reps I did with the right. Once I finish with the left, then I perform both sides. Okay, I, I hit both sides and it's already fatigued and I'm going to be struggling and it's going to be heavy as hell and you're going to have a massive pump when you finish and you're going to see exactly what I mean and how effective this is using uh, very little weights. Now, you can't use this all the time, of course, but um, you don't want to use this forever, but it's a good way to give you some time to heal and use lighter weights, but still make some progress, okay? You can use this to burn fat. Okay, you can use this to build muscle, a little both at the same time, improve your endurance, all of that. This is, this is the program that will allow you to do that. Um, if you guys, if enough people um, ask about this or comment below, um, I'll, uh, I'll actually do another workout video for a different body part. Um, whichever body part you think is uh, the more, most important for me to do uh, using this concept. But... Um, this um, this con this is a great concept and a great program and um, yeah if you try it out let me know how you go how it goes with it.